Hey everybody, Christian Anna Horror here. Welcome to another episode of Horror Blu-rays I Want You to Own. Thank you for making this show the success that it's pretty much become. It's my most requested show, and I'm so happy that I can probably say that this is the show you've always wanted but never had before. And so without further ado, this is Volume 8. Now, I'm trying to get more curated and make these more specific and try to think a little outside of the box with some of these titles. So here's our attempt at that with Volume 8. Uh, so without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and dive right into it. Okay, so the number 5 recommendation I have is a film that I know that has a huge cult following, but for some reason has not made the jump to American Blu-ray, but have no fear. Number 5 is Ragman, or as we probably know it, trick or treat now this movie is still stuck in limbo no one really knows what's going on with it and i am sick and tired of waiting around for american releases to talk about to you guys so have no fear this is the german blu-ray and it's otherwise known as i said as ragman over there and this movie is completely region free it will play in your american players you can readily get this blu-ray on eBay. There are copies all over the place. And I will say this, that there is an actual American styled Blu-ray on eBay that is more or less a bootleg, but it's from these people that somehow get this permission to do it. You can read into it on eBay when you find the listing for it. It's an American Trick or Treat Blu-ray, and I have heard nothing but positive things about that. I got this for cheaper than that Blu-ray, so I decided to go with this German Blu-ray. The picture quality was pretty darn good. You could obviously switch the audio language to English, and you could watch the movie normally. Uh, not to mention the menu screen on this was amazing. So, Trick or Treat, this is a movie that doesn't boast many special features at all, but I, I think everybody wants to have this in their collection as a, as for Blu-ray and upgrade from that DVD, and I think that this Ragman Ger German Blu-ray is a great way to do it. Also, you can reverse this and get rid of the blue sticker on here. I know people don't like that, so yeah, you can reverse the art on the inside, which is the same thing just without the blue. I just never cared. But Ragman, Trick or Treat... On eBay, readily available. Maybe on Amazon, too, but it may not be a prime Amazon. Look into it, guys. Check it out. Add this to your collection. Okay, continuing the trend of movies that are lost in limbo that need to be... I don't know. I don't know. Of course, they need to get an American release, but it's just not happened. So, without further ado, number four is... Fright Night 2. Now, this is the Spanish Blu-ray. Uh, I got this off of Walmart.com of all places. My my good friend and sometimes video contributor Tommy McDaniel and Caitlin, as a matter of fact, we came and did a real retrospective about this film and how much we loved it. And Tommy was like, Christian, there is a Spanish Blu-ray on Walmart.com that you can get for Fright Night 2. And I, I bought it. And I was pleased with this Blu-ray. The picture quality is pretty darn good. The only thing about this Blu-ray is there's one moment in the film where the f where the s where the f the image freezes for a one second. That's it. And I thought it was a glitch, but then when Pizzao reviewed it, he said the same thing. Other than that, it's perfectly fine. The picture quality looks pretty darn good. I mean, it's certainly Blu-ray quality, and this movie is amazing. And it's it's high time that it gets out of hiding. It's high time that this movie gets the love and praise it deserves. People tell me that they like this more than Fright Night 1, and I can't argue it. This movie is everything that sequels should be. Bigger, badder, better. In terms of special features, again, I don't think there was much at all on here. Great menu screen as well on here, but this is a movie that needs to be in your collection as a Blu-ray because I don't want you spending $50, $60 trying to get that, that Anchor Bay. I think it was the Anchor Bay or Artisan DVD of it. That was a long time ago. Those are expensive now. You can get this for about $20, $25. Check Walmart.com. Check other websites, but this is the Spanish Fright Night 2 Blu-ray. Add it to your collection. Okay, next up is actually a Scream Factory Collector's Edition that has recently been announced because this is a movie I, I want to see you guys get now while it's readily available and it's not skyrocketing in price yet that is uh, what fans know as the real creep show 3 tales from the dark side the blu-ray now i love this movie with a absolute passion i think i like it a little more than creep show 2 and just under the first creep show uh but regardless this is this is the fans creep show 3 i mean 
George Romero wrote stories for this that was going to be in Creepshow 3 that ended up in this and other things like that. This Blu-ray is great. I mean, the picture quality was the best it's ever looked for this movie. It had a DVD release that went out of print, I think, relatively quick. You probably could still buy it. I don't think it's sold out, but this was a movie that needed to make the jump to Blu-ray for the longest time, and Scream Factory did it, and they did it great. I love the artwork on this Blu-ray. I think that the special features were great. Great, great interviews. I remember just loving every ounce of the interviews, talking about each segment. The Gargoyle segment got a lot of love in the special features, which was great because the Gargoyle sequence is my favorite. It used to be lot 249, but every time I rewatch the Gargoyle sequence, I am blown away by the special effects in Tales from the Dark Side of the movie. So this is a great collector's edition that just was recently released. I mean, it was this year. And I think this is probably one of the best releases of the year from Scream Factory. Uh, it was it'll pr probably make my top five best releases of the year for me. I loved it so much. So I think it, it's worthy for you to add this. Tales from, the, uh, Tales from the Dark Side, the movie. Check it out. Next comes over from the good people at Vinegar Syndrome. I just want to say this one thing. I've been making jokes about Vinegar Syndrome lately. I think the last video I said... Sometimes when you buy Vinegar Syndrome movies, you're either diving into a cesspool or you're diving into the sparkling fresh water because the, they, re, they, they will release anything, and I, I love them for that. This is sparkling fresh water 100%, in my opinion, of course. Uh, this is one of their best releases they've done. Now, unfortunately, the release I have has a nice shiny slipcover that I don't think is available anymore, but don't worry about that. Uh, it's just eye candy for this video. Dolly Dearest is the best Child's Play ripoff movie I've ever seen. Here's a movie that is blatant in what it's doing, but it is scary. And the doll in this movie freaks me out. I mean, look at that doll. That is horrifying. The facial expressions that this doll has in this movie just ruin me. So if you bought it now, if you got it off of Amazon, this is what you would get. The Vinegar Syndrome Blu-ray. Uh, this movie had a beautiful 2K scan on it. This movie had interviews with the mom of the movie, who was also the mom in Pet Cemetery. So the cast was good in Dolly Dearest. There were faces that I recognized. One of the FBI agents from Men in Black is in here. Like I said, Dolly Dearest is the best Child's Play ripoff film I've ever seen. As a matter of fact, after Child's Play 3, I would put Dolly Dearest above probably any other Child's Play film. And I do like some... Very much so, but I think Dolly Dearest is great. I think this is a great movie with great special features and a beautiful picture quality. So if you haven't made the jump to checking out Dolly Dearest, it's still getting its feet. It's still finding its ground in the horror community. Definitely go for it. This is a high recommend for me. This was a day one pre-order for me because I saw this movie years ago on a crappy DVD and I couldn't wait to see it in high definition. Okay, and my final recommendation of the day. Now, this is a movie that I just want to see get as much love as possible. It's one of my personal favorite movies on the planet. I, wa I bought this movie on a whim, not knowing what to expect, and I watched it and loved it. And I just want more people to love this film. I really do. Uh, my number one recommendation for this video is another Scream Factory release that came out years ago. That movie is called Class of 1984. Now, this movie is one of my all-time favorite movies I've ever gotten from Scream Factory. I love the fact that it was a blind buy when I picked it up from them. I hadn't seen it. I'd actually seen Class of 1999, believe it or not. But I didn't know anything about Class of 1984. I picked this up. Matter of fact, I picked it up, I think, either late last year or early this year, and it still came with a slip, so there is a chance that you could get this movie with a slipcase still, because I know that's important to a lot of people. This is one of the best movies about kids becoming evil and killing people and, and, and taking over this school, and the school is running rampant. It, it's like, it, 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 I feel like it falls into the category of the movies like Heather's and and just kids doing horribly dark things. And here's this one teacher who wants to make a difference in a school, but then realizes these kids are monsters. So then he has to take action into his own hands. This film also features a young Michael J. Fox, which is a big deal for me because I'm a huge Michael J. Fox fan. Top five actors for me. 
Great soundtrack, Alice Cooper music from the Blackout era. And if you're an Alice Cooper fan, you know what that means. This was after his career started to sink a little bit, and he was on cocaine, so he was making great albums. But Class of 1984 is one of my favorite Blu-rays and my favorite movies in my entire collection. If you haven't seen it, I really would love for you to check this movie out on my behalf, and please let me know what you think about it. If you've already seen the movie, please let me know your thoughts on it. Guys, that is Volume 8 of Horror Blu-rays I want you to own. I tried to curate that a little bit more specific to my liking and the movies that I have a real affinity with as opposed to hey this is going out of print go ahead and get this soon now there is a market for me showing you that kind of stuff but I thought today let me show you movies I really just love so for now this is Christian Hanahora please again you want to know what movies I should buy next or what movies everybody should get drop it below in the comment section maybe in volume 9 but for now this is Christian Hanahora see you guys next time